So now let's talk about the delete function in the NumPy package. So suppose that I want to delete this value, which is at index 0 of this array. In order to do so, I simply type np.delete, and I pass x, which is our array, and the value which you want to delete is the value at index 0. So this is the index, and I store the results in a variable, let's say called y, and if I print the y variable, and if I run a code, you can see here's the output, and as you can see, the value at index 0 has been deleted. And for example, if you want to delete this value, which is at index 1, that's very easy, we can pass 1, and now if I run the code, you can see that value at index 1 has been deleted. So now I consider this matrix, which is a 2D array, I mean two-dimensional array, and now suppose that I want to delete the first row of this matrix. In order to do so, I simply type np.delete because we want to delete something. And first of all, we should pass the array, which is x. And then we should pass the index of the row which you want to delete. So you can see that this is row at index 0. Remember, Python is start counting at 0. So we want to delete row 0. And then we should pass axis equals to 0 because you want to delete the first row. Axis equals to 0 means row. So we want to delete the row at index 0. So now if I store the results in a variable, let's say called y, and if I print the y variable, and if I run the code, you can see the first row has been deleted. And for example, if you want to delete the first column, I mean the column at index 0, that's very easy. We can pass 1. So axis equals to 1 means column. And we want to delete uh, the 0th column. So we store the results in y, and now we are printing y, and if I run the code, you can see that the first column, I mean column at index 0, has been deleted. And again, remember that that's very obvious that, for example, you can delete the column at index 1. So in order to do so, you pass 1. It means that you want to delete the column at index 1. So if I run the code, you can see column at index 1 has been deleted. Now I really suggest you to watch this video, which is on the screen now.